In this video, we would be doing part C of question number 4.6 and we did part A and B in the previous video so you can always refer to that. Your part C says would the utility function u of x comma y equal to 100x plus 200y represents Shirley's preferences. Would the utility function u of x comma y equal to 5x plus 10y whole square represents her preferences. And would the utility function u of x comma y is equal to x plus 3y represent her preferences. In part A, we learned that the utility function of Shirley was u of x comma y is equal to x plus 2y where x represented your 8 ounce can beer and y represented your 16 ounce can beer. Now the question says does these various utility function represent her preferences? Now what do you mean by representing her preferences? So that means the question is indirectly asking us if these utility functions are the monotonic transformation of this utility function or not. Now what do you mean by a monotonic transformation? A monotonic transformation of a utility function is a utility function that represents the same preference as the original utility function or we can say that the monotonic function always has a positive rate of change. Now I would be doing this question using the two methods which is your calculus method and the other method is without calculus but I would prefer that you go with the calculus method as it gives us the sure shot answer if the transformations are monotonic or not and it is much convenient as well. So let's begin. Let's first answer for this utility function where your u of x comma y is equal to 100x plus 200y. Now you know that your utility function is u of x comma y is equal to x plus 2y as we solved in the part A. Now if you multiply this entire expression by 100 then your expression becomes 100 u of x comma y is equal to 100 times x plus 2y that would be 100 u of x comma y is equal to 100 x plus 200 y which is nothing but your this expression now since the given utility function is 100 times the original utility function and since 100 is a positive number note that this is positive and you are multiplying a positive value with a positive number so the resultant value will also be positive thus we say that this is a monotonic transformation since we are multiplying the utility function with a positive number which is 100 in this particular case so the answer would be yes now let's do the same procedure with the calculus if you are using the calculus then the definition says that the monotonic function always has a positive rate of change suppose your u of x comma y is equal to x plus 2y which is your original utility function and let's represent this in function with small u now if i apply any function to this u that would be of the form f of u let's call this f of u to be v thus what we essentially get is f of u which is a function of x comma y is nothing but v of x comma y. Since u is a function of x comma y and we are just applying any function which could be square, square root, cube. We are adding a number, we are subtracting a number, we are multiplying or dividing. So any functional form but that won't change your variable. Thus your f of u which is essentially your v would also be a function of x comma y. And we say that a function is monotonic if it has a positive rate of change. The rate of change is represented by the derivative of a function which is in this case would be v prime or we can say as f prime u. So if your f prime u is greater than 0 then we say that a function is a monotonic transformation. So let's see we know that u of x comma y is your x plus 2y. So we have u of x comma y is your x plus 2y. So if I multiply by 100 then this becomes 100 u of x comma y is nothing but 100 x plus 200 y and this is your utility function given in the question and we are multiplying the utility function by 100 that means we are applying some functional form to the utility function that means this becomes f of u and this would be your v. Now if we compare this equation and this equation what we get is that 
your v is nothing but 100 times of u for the calculation purposes i am ignoring that it's a function of x and y because there is no such need now let's differentiate this function with respect to u that would be v prime or dv divided by du is nothing but 100 which is positive and this represents nothing but the rate of change and from here we are able to get that your function has a positive rate of change which implies your function is a monotonic transformation of the utility function x plus 2y hence the answer would be yes 100 x plus 2y represents the shirley's preferences now let's move on to the next utility function which is 5x plus 10y whole square for this let me erase everything now surely is your initial utility function is u of x comma y which is x plus 2y again we will follow the same procedure and see if from this we are able to get to this utility function and if we are able to get to this utility function with only positive transformations that is without multiplying it by a negative number or anything then we say that yes they are monotonic transformations and secondly we will again see using the calculus if the rate of change change is positive or not let's begin now how to make the transformation first see that x has the coefficient of 5 and y here has a coefficient of 2 and here has a coefficient of 10 which means we first need to multiply the entire expression by 5 so let's do that that would be multiply by 5 that would be 5 of u of x comma y is equal to 5x plus 10y now which element is now left this square element is left so let's square both the sides squaring both sides that would be 25 as the square of 5 is 25 u x comma y so that would be whole square is equal to 5 x plus 10y whole square which brings us to this utility function now see what all transformations we have done and if that transformation preserves the preferences of surely or not firstly we have multiplied by 5 now multiplying a utility function by 5 will not change the utility preferences because we are multiplying it by a positive number secondly what we did was we squared both the sides again squaring both the sides will not change the preferences because initially also she was valuing the 16 ounce can twice as compared to 1 8 ounce can and now also the same thing is happening because if we even if we square both the sides this relation between 16 ounce can and 8 ounce cans won't change thus by doing all these transformation we are able to maintain the same preferences thus we say yes this utility also represents her preferences so the answer to this question is again yes now let's use the calculus to see if this is the case or not and this is the general procedure i told you for calculus in order to see if your utility function is a monotonic transformation of the original utility function or not and in case of calculus we have to see if the rate of change is positive or not so let's first bring the original utility function that is x plus 2y into the given form which is 5x plus 10y whole square which we already did here we know that x plus 2y is u so that would be u is equal to x plus 2y firstly we multiplied it by 5 that would be 5 of u so the function we are first applying is the multiplication by 5 we did one another transformation that was we were squaring both the sides so we have to take the square as well so after multiplying by 5 and squaring both the sides that is these both functional forms being applied to u the resultant function which was 5x plus 10y whole square which is essentially 5u whole square is equal to v now we have to find the rate of change of v and see if that is positive or not to find the rate of change of v we have to differentiate it that would be dv du so let's do that that would be twice of 5u multiplied by 5 this would be 50u since u is positive because the utility function is positive and we are multiplying a positive number by a positive number which is 50 this entire term would be positive thus what we are able to get is that the rate of change is positive if you have positive rate of change that means your function is monotonic 
and if your function is monotonic that means it will represent the same preferences as the original utility function and hence again the answer to this question is yes your utility function 5x plus 10y whole square represents the same preferences as the utility function x plus 2y which was her original utility function last sub part of the part c which says does the utility function x plus 3y represents her preferences now there's a very big catch here let me raise this for you our initial utility function was x plus 2y but here we are given x plus 3y so what do you mean by when the utility function was x plus 2y that means she valued the 16 ounce cans twice as she values the 1 8 ounce can that means or we can say that she was willing to give up two units of 8 ounce can to compensate her for giving up one 16 ounce can but when we have the utility function as x plus 3y that would imply that surely would require three units of 8 ounce can to compensate her for giving up one unit of 16 ounce can that means now her preferences have changed the rate at which she is willing to trade or the MRS has changed. And if your MRS has changed, that means her preferences have changed. Now you might be thinking that yes, it, it is possible that along the indifference curve, MRS is different at one point and is different at another point. But note here that these utility function represents the utility function of a perfect substitute. And the most important property of the perfect substitute goods are that they have a constant slope. That that means these perfect substitutes have the constant MRS along the entire indifference curve. That means the rate of change at which the consumer is willing to give up one good for another is same throughout the indifference curve. So there is not any possibility that at one point she has MRS of 2 and at another point she has an MRS of 3, which is then somewhat a contradiction. Thus logically we can say that the utility function x plus 3y does not represent her preferences. So this was a logical explanation. What if in exam this logic does not strike you? Or if we could have applied this logic because it was a case of perfect substitute. What if you have another utility function which is not a perfect substitute and you have to see. So for that what you can do is you can try and transform this utility function into this utility function and see if we are able to do that or not. So we are given the utility function as x plus 2y is equal to u of x comma y. Now the first thing is the coefficient of y is 3. So what we can do is we can multiply it by 3 divided by 2. That would be 3 divided by 2x is plus 3y is equal to u of x comma y multiplied by 3 divided by 2. Now yes we have achieved the coefficient of y to be 3. But what about the coefficient of x which is 3 by 2 but we want it to be 1. So there cannot be any transformation such that the coefficient of y changes from 2 to 3 but we can keep the coefficient of x as it is. So we are not able to find any such transformation so that we can transform this utility function into this utility function. Thus the answer to this question would be no. The utility function x comma y is equal to x plus 3y does not represent her preferences. We will do the remaining parts in the next video.